Hello and welcome to the Flexlane Media coverage of the Back 7 lead card at the 2020 Christchurch Fling. My name is Chris Hoopman. And I'm Brady Kush. It's been a very exciting round so far. I'm really keen to get into this back seven, see what this lead card has for us. Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, as The weather is definitely not heating up, but at least the card is. We had a little bit of movement, so you got Jimmy and myself here on lead card are starting to pick it up, getting those birdies in. Uh, Simon and Johnny Ferrari have been holding pretty steady in and around even. Uh, as you can see, Simon Feezy coming in. He's one under par so far through the front 14, overall minus 12. Johnny Ferrari uh, still at plus one, not too bad. He's at minus five. Uh, Jimmy and I, myself, we're both coming in at plus six. Um, but, you know, like, yeah, we're starting to claw a couple strokes back. So we're sitting overall even. So hopefully we can get into this hunt and see if we can't track Johnny Ferrari down. Yeah, definitely. I think at this point of the round, probably most of the field was starting to slow down a little bit, getting kind of bogged down by the weather. Yeah, the weather being so variable makes it quite tricky. Um, speaking of tricky, we got hole 15, par three, 98 meters. Um, tends to be a forehand play for most players coming out straight down the fairway here. You have these hills come into play um, and then you have a well guarded green. So you have the big bushy tree on your right. Uh, this tree is really where you're aiming at on the left, the one with all the branches that are gone. Because yeah, if you can hyzer in just before that, you can see the gap to skip right to the pin. Um, Simon with this crosswind looks like he's opting for a backhand play. He might try to smash through that tree on the right or just kind of play it up the guts. Yeah, if you get lucky, you can pierce through that big guardian tree on the uh the right side of the green whoa <laughs> let's take out the cameraman a uh, big yeah. flare skip off of that drive i actually had no idea i lost this in flight and had no idea it was skipping that close to me i reckon that missed my camera by about a foot yeah i was gonna say just smile and catch it with your teeth chris that'll be fine <laughs> let's see what you're playing uh for here looks like standard backhand just hoping it drifts a little bit and drifts into the green. Yeah, so this was, yeah, with that crazy crosswind, I'm throwing super overstable, so that's my Raptor. So yeah, it ends up short and out to the left, but that's fine. I didn't really want to play yeah. with any of that trees in this Playing wind. it safe. Johnny. Um, yeah, Ferrari's being a little bit more aggressive. You can see he's pushed it straight here. Just catching that Guardian tree. Those branches are so hard to pierce through. Yeah. And that probably is going to make a pretty tricky upshot. Yeah, it should be interesting for him. Jimmy, same oh, thing. Oh, that high. Oh, come on. Man, look at that rain come down. Yeah. Yeah, the rain picked up a heap on this hole. Um, yeah, so you can see there's water here on the camera. <laughs> I have just a ridiculous upshot here. I've pulled it to the right end of that tree. That is such a good catch by the tree. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll take the little bit of tree love. So that makes me park. That'll make a routine tap in par. Let's see if Jimmy can do the oh, same thing. Oh, my goodness, me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's a monsoon. Oh, oh, get it, get it. Oh, oh. Um, that's a great bid there. Little Ruru -ru upshot. <laughs> um, Simon's ditched the umbrella at this point. You can see that the like, water is standing on the ground. Yeah, just a little chip up for him with that bush in play. He couldn't really take a good run at it. Yeah, I think um, on the forecast for, for the day, it had about 2.5 millimeters occurring at some point mid-morning. And I think this one hole was where that entire 2.4 millimeters <laughs> <laughs> fell from the sky. Because already you can see that the rain stopped. Yes, and we're fine. Easy tap in, yeah. uh, you know, like nice par from Johnny. Wasn't too bad there. He was able to straddle out. It'll be a tap in par here for Simon. Um, you'll get the tap in par from me. Um, again, really thank you, uh, Tree. I'll <laughs> make sure to thank you next time I'm out. Yep, and that's a par. And we should see four pars from this lead card on hole 15. Yep, not a terrible start. As you can see, you know, like it was calm off while we were standing on the tee. Mm. It was friggin' howling gales <laughs> and rain in the middle. And then now it's nice and calm at the end. So walking away with yeah. four pars. Three, uh, three seasons in one hole. <laughs> not too bad at all. Here we go, triple Mando, um, hole 16, par three, 115 meters. Um, most players right hand, backhand are taking it just a hyzer flip off, uh, keeping it under that triple Mando. Really, you're just trying to push the ceiling on that so you can make it all the way here to the pin. Uh, the drone is taking the left hand side. Most players will kind of take that right hand side so it'll skip right under the basket. Yeah, high control is the big one here. Um... You can see the end of the banners are gone because of the wind. Um, they didn't blow away, away overnight. Yeah. Simon, just, yeah, as you can see, height control, big issue. Um, just trying to get that um, really thin, almost a letterbox between the, the top of the Mando and the hill. Um, these players just driving it straight into the hill, but safe through the Mando. Yeah, two same mistakes. You know, like no birdie looks there out of Simon or myself. Um, both are low. Johnny Ferrari, little higher. Little higher. Gets over the first hill. 
Yep. And but, then, yeah, yeah. kind of crests and like rolls into that yep. second. So he should have a little bit easier, a little closer up shot. Let's see what Jimmy can do. Oh, getting the wind black. Oh, it's still pushing. And that's almost through to the green, just catching up in that rough. Um, yeah, so he'll be green. under the trees on the right there. He yep. should have just circle's edge look for his birdie. Oh, this looks a little left. I am not very happy with that one. So that was an early release by me. So it's going to put me on that left-hand side, but I didn't make it around the bushes. So it won't be a clean look for my par. Simon makes the correction. So it's a lot better upshot by him. Oh, but just, just through that right-hand oh. side. What an up. Parked. Yeah. Um, that's the kind of, that's the kind of par look that you're looking for. Johnny Farrar, hopefully I'll have the same thing. I'm guessing it'll be his rat. That's almost a carbon copy of Simon's, just not quite piercing the trees as well, but that's a putt. That's that's where yep. you want to be. Nice and easy. Um, I'm getting out of jail. I had absolutely nothing, so you see me throwing like a little cut forehand Ooh. roller. Yeah. Um, didn't get the distance that I wanted. Um, I didn't like release forward enough, so <clears> it just kind of rolled back into those bushes early. Yeah, you got to look low. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy's got a look for birdie. Yeah, headwind came out a little mm. flutter, so he didn't commit yeah. to it. Looked like it was a tricky stance. I got a howling win for this putt, so this is going to be really difficult for me. Oh, and air ball. Yeah, so those wow. the tree limbs that you can see right yeah. in front of me were just like messing with my like putting stroke yep. the whole time. Yep. So it was really difficult for me to kind of like settle in to make that putt. Let's see if you can make the comebacker. Yep. Yeah, that yeah. was good. That one hurts, you know, like a yeah. double bogey after I had that good kind of middle section. So that one mm -hmm. hurts a lot. You can see me kind of hanging my head. I really wanted to pull the par, or at least a bogey out of that. Because, um, yeah, you know, like that's going to be giving up because this should be routine tap ins, you know, like whew, should be. Yeah. Uh, that's a little closer than Johnny probably wanted, but it's still a par for him. <laughs> so, you know, like there again, there's two strokes that I've coughed up to Johnny. Yep, easy routine par for Jimmy. You know, like he, he at least ha got a bid on it. Yeah, and then a tap out for Simon. So yeah, three pars, one double bogey with all of us making the Mando. I'm the only one who really takes the penalty on it. On to pole 17, par three, 76 meters. Um, the drone flight's showing us the direct route through the uh, tunnel of trees. Um, depending on the wind, I think most players will opt for the high hyzer to the right hand side. Ideally, um, getting long of this line of poplars just uh, in front of the basket. Um, that would be the more um, safer play, I think, considering the conditions. Yeah, safer play is definitely with this pushing wind right to left is going to be that spike hyzer on the outside. Um, it's a little trickier, yeah, with all the trees in the middle. So yeah, here you go, Simon showing you that spike hyzer coming around. Yeah, he oh, j Ooh. just pushing through. There you go. Yeah. That's a little bit of luck from Simon. Yep. So yeah, he found that little bitty pocket between those last two poplars. So he slid through. He's all right. Okay. Johnny takes the direct route, so he's gone straight up the middle. <laughs> And, and I think he collects a tree. Yeah, he's hit yeah. something, so he's just like, yep, that's kind of what I expected. But he can save a par from there. That's fine. Okay, Jimmy's also taking the inside route. And if he can push Come these on, poplars... No, just catching up on those poplars. Yeah. So he might have a straddle look. There mm -hmm. are some windows through those poplars, but that's going to be a tricky birdie look for him. Simon's got a little bit of cleaner line. I always, yeah, I opt for way wide, let the wind do all oh, of the work for me. Still pushing. And that's oh, crushed. That's, yeah. Um, so I'm well outside yep. both circles. You know, like that's going to be, you know, like it's going to be a layup from there. I'm not yep. really running that with the OB, OB road so behind. Close. Yep. Tricky patent pending look here from Johnny. Oh, this has to... Wind's taking that one. Clipped another tree. Yeah, so yeah, he's going to be behind those poplars. Touch nose up from Johnny, unfortunately. Yeah, a bit of a as flutter, you can see, flutter up shot. That's gone long. That, yeah, looks like it was a little bit more of a go than I was looking for. A nice, easy kind of tap in mm -hmm. is really where it was at. Gets the window, oh. little right hand side. Yeah. So, yeah, not good stance, not kind of comfortable. So, yeah, just a little bit of a late release. So, yeah, he finished right, but it'll be a par for him. Let's Simon, see what Simon with can the birdie do. look. Yeah. Oh. Early release out of him. Yeah. That's strange because that's pretty routine straddle putt for him. Um, so I have pretty much the same look Simon did, just with a little bit of like bushes yeah. in my head. Nice. Good putt. I was happy with that one. You know, like it was really good to make, especially having just taken that double bogey. So good to save par on this. Um, hopefully Johnny can do the same. He'll follow me. Another awkward stance for Johnny. Yeah, right awkward up against, stance right up against this that tree. Is not where you want to be. No, you want to make it as easy as you can. Come on, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, nothing That's but chains. One. Yeah, sweet yeah. little, like, smooth spin putt there. Mm. Great, Johnny. Uh, good par by him. 
Yeah, it's those little awkward stances that you really want to make. And when you do, you, it gives you so much momentum. Yeah, good putt. Good par there by Jimmy. So, yeah, no damage on this hole. We all kind of go through. Simon tapping out his par. Um, so, you know, like, yeah, kind of a calm start. I'm the only one with some red on his card so far through three. Still four to play. Brings us to hole 18, par three, 84 meters. You got these two guardian trees right out the gate, um, which make a gate for a hole. That's pretty much where most players are going to take it, kind of straight down the middle. You have this birch that comes into play. So if you're released early, you can get caught up into that. And also if you juice it a little bit, you can get caught up in those bushes on the right. So hopefully it's a soft little hyzer that'll kind of hit that sand just before the basket to park it for birdie. Hopefully, let's see what Simon's got. Simon's throwing it yeah, wide enough. This looks the... really nice. Almost too straight. There's no finish on that. Yeah, no but finish. He's in a good spot. We'll see if he gets a look. We don't know how close he got to mm. those bushes. Oh, and that's a late release from Johnny. But fortunate kick out into the open, so he's going to have a clear second shot. Yeah, Jimmy splits yeah. it perfectly. That looked like it's on a great angle. Starting yeah, so to hyzer back. Purple Katara <laughs> again. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> so yeah, he's sitting right on the edge of the circle. That's exactly where you want to be. Ooh. Was that a double hit? Yep. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you can see me. I'm trying to, you know, like pull my round back. So, you know, like that was a real hard hit, especially after watching Johnny do it. That tree's coming into my backswing again. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Yeah, straight Strange. out of my hand. I'm like, this is way too wide. Um, but oh, what? I don't know how that happened. As you saw, like after I released the shot, my head's down. I'm like, look, that was such a terrible grip lock. It was horrible. And now I have a putt inside the circle and for it just par. Fell into the circle. Yeah, out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so I was really happy with that. Um, you know, like a super lucky break for me. Unfortunately, not mm. so lucky for Johnny. He's gonna be yeah. He's still short. He's throwing it low, trying to take the wind out of play, but unfortunately bringing the fairway into play. This looks a little wider, better height. Sit down. A little bit long. That's yeah. going to be a tester for him. Not really what he wants for, for bogey here. Simon's got a bit of a look, so he's probably going to be middle circle two. Definitely within his range. Oh, <sighs> Just a little bit weak. Yeah. That's, that's all right. Line's a lot better, though, so it's starting to come in. He's getting yeah. closer with those looks. And I mean, Simon's so comfortably ahead. He's just happy just to throw this up and hope for the best. Yeah, and he's he kind of give happy everything a half go. Yeah. Get a bit of rain coming back again, pushing through. Hey, that's nice. Yeah, that that was a big save for me. Um, I was really happy to get that. You know, like I had to take that break and make that putt. Ah, Jimmy. We've seen a few of these. Come on. Yeah, yeah. a little low. low. Yeah, that's great, great the one. save. Yeah, those are a couple good saves right there by Johnny. Like, well done by him. Um, Simon will tap out for par, not a problem. And then, yeah, easy drop in for Jimmy. You know, like, that one's going to hurt a little bit. He's probably mm. going to be like, man, I let that one get away. Um, here we go, quite similar hole. Let's go to hole 19, par 3, 89 meters. Just like the last hole, you have those two guardian trees right out the gates. Um, that once again, make the gates for the hole. You're just trying to take it straight up the middle, straight down. You have those bollards on the left. They're going to play as out of bounds. And then if you throw it long, you're going to be in those bushes behind the basket. Yeah, this is a real tricky one. You just have to push these two initial trees, which unfortunately Simon not able to do, but he gets a pretty decent kick. He's yeah, I was gonna say, away. yeah, tap the initial trees there <laughs> if you're Simon's. That's a great kick by him. Glance by. That little, looks better. Nice up in the middle. Nice, nice up and smooth. straight. A little bit nose up, but it doesn't hyzer out, so he, he pushes it up. Yeah, that's the perfect. Spin, the spin on that. Yeah, let's watch this again. Let's watch it from Chase Cam. As you can see, a little bit of flip up there. Got the Ooh. nose up, which is going to help him control that distance. And Jimmy just puts so much spin on it. So beautiful to watch. Comes in super soft. He doesn't get any skip out of this. You know, like just that little roll yeah. forward. Yeah. That's right exactly where he wants to be. That's the birdie look that everyone wants on this hole. I'm Throwing your trying, Yeah, I want to follow yeah. that vapor trail, Ooh. like straight down the middle. A little bit oh, more down. shape. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that'll do. Oh, replay too. Yeah, I was man. not expecting this one. So yeah, this came out a little high as you can see. That wind's pushing it out to that my right-hand side, the camera's left-hand side. 
spot because just like Jimmy, I threw it that little bit nose up, helps control that distance, slides in just perfectly. Yeah, to park it right there behind the basket. Yeah, beautiful shape there. Yeah, that's the thing you want to say about your putt. Yeah. Two words, <laughs> nice drive. Ah, Johnny. Yeah. yeah, he had that last hole stuck in his head. He's, he's like, look, <laughs> he's I don't want to hit the right tree, ends up hitting the left tree. <laughs> he's laughing about it though. It looks, this looks all right. Oh, man, yeah, just catching that, that tree. tree. That looked perfect. The height was coming out. The angle uh, was looking really good with this wind. Man, the rain and the wind came back on this hole. As you can see, it was yeah. calmer while we're oh, teeing off. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, he, man. I swear, every time I see this footage, I forget how much it rained in some holes. Like, mental. But it's also the difference, too. So it's mm. not like we've had this for the whole hole, for every shot, for every yeah. player. Yeah, it's just rolling through. So yeah, you had a cheeky little run by Johnny, which is really good. You have the nice, safe, you know, approach by Simon. Yeah, That's man, not be too this bad. This is but, not guaranteed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is like, you really got to settle and focus in. Again, he's on a straddle. He's got the bushes just behind him. He's putting straight back into the headwind. Oh. Slips uh, over the basket. That's hard to watch. It was yeah. hard to watch on the card, you know what I mean? Of like, having hit the tee, having hit yeah. the tree, you know, like now he finally gives himself a look at a putt. And yeah, just right over the top. Oh, gets the chains for the double bogey. Yeah. But I mean, still, like, that's a good putt. Like, in these conditions, in the conditions like, I'll take it, you yeah. know? So you can build that momentum of, sweet, mm -hmm. I made a putt, let's go to the next shot. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no. That was almost too much hate. Yeah, well, that's, again, an early release by him. So I don't know if it looks like he's speeding up, you know? Like, I don't know mm. if it's the edit and that kind of stuff and we're not seeing his full routine, but you know, it, it seemed a little rushed. It was a little left-hand side. Even Simon's there. That was a good catch. It was left-hand side. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I take the straddle. I want that win directly at my back. Make it nice and easy, nice and drop in. And on to hole 20, par three, 81 meters. Generally playing is the easiest hole on the course. Just straight out of the gap. Uh, wide open fairway, just got to avoid these poplars on the right, but for most players it's just a nice straight shot. Uh, in between these two guardian trees of the green, got the poplars in the back as well to slow down any discs, uh, hopefully not drif drifting too long into the OB. Yeah, it's really an ace line hold. Jimmy and I are probably just trying to repeat exactly what oh. we did. You can see the wind yeah. is crazy different, so I've actually gone with nice. my loss rather than the buzz. And drawing the base of the basket, great shot. Yeah, that's the one. Kept it super low. Those trees could come into play, but you also have that low ceiling to deal with. So I'm just trying to punch through the wind and just kind of throw it straight at the basket. I get a great skip. So yeah, yeah. great ground action. Park. I'll take it. Yeah, great throw. Two in a row. Must be feeling good. <laughs> yeah, starting to come together. See if I can claw back a couple yeah. strokes here on these last few holes. Only took 19 holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Oh, Simon's early. He most likely skipped long into those poplars, so he sh still should have a putt. It shouldn't be too hard for him. Come on, Jimmy. Same shot. Let's go. Comes out. Oh, nose up. Good. Right side. Same it's shot. Little, Let's go. A little bit short. Yeah, that's shorter than the other yeah. one. So this is going to be like circle's edge, probably mm -hmm. just outside. Ah, uh, that's a little bit early from Johnny. That's it. But... Mm, he's going to be with Simon, so he's pushed yeah. long? Out of bounds. Out of Oh, no. Just, he found this only, this one little gap. There, yeah, man, like, uh, uh, yeah, we didn't even know that existed. Like, mm. when you look at the wall off the tee, like, the ballers are just in the poplars, so there's no gaps. So the fact that he... <sighs> uh, ah, Johnny. That he found one, good bid by him, like, tough break, mm. uh, you know, like, should be well within his wheelhouse. He, like he said, he just made that putt on the last hole from that distance. Let's see if Jimmy can correct. Ah, just low. Yeah. That's all right, though. Like, with this win, that's not too bad. Like, he's still close enough, so, you know, like, it'll be an easy cleanup for him. <sighs> Johnny. Yeah, the wheels seem like they're starting to come off for Johnny. Like, he had those two couple tree hits, and now, like, putting seems to be an issue. No, nope. yep. Yeah. No problem for Simon. That's a really good birdie from him. Continues to push his dominant lead, 13 under par. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, that's stretching that lead for him. Oh, what? No. Oh, like that's a Nomez written all <laughs> over it. Like that was a perfect putt, dead center, nice and low, oh. just too strong. So straight just through the chains, hit, hit post. Hit the pole too low so that there was enough chains to catch it. Oh, yeah. you hate to see it. Yeah, so Simon Great and I... Great birdie from you. Yeah, Simon and I are the only ones to walk away with birdie. 
And that's yeah. a double bogey out of Johnny. Yeah, and he's gone down to even Whoa. overall. Yeah, so that's like five strokes here in the mm. last few holes. Coming up, hole 21, last hole of the course. Uh, par 599 meters, the arguable, you know, ghost par four. Uh, basically, yeah, you're taking your drive to land right about here, just past this poplar. Um, the bigger arms are gonna be pushing this little tree on our right to set up this kind of easier kind of putter or mid uh, upshot around the corner. If you can get past that guardian tree and onto the green, it gives you a look for eagle. Though typically it should play as a pretty easy birdie for most players on this card. I lucked out and got the box on the last one. That's where I always like to be. <laughs> Looks like the wind is relatively still, which is good. Well, not based on that tree, <laughs> but that drive I will take. Uh, so yeah, that was a really good turnover. Nice little F shot sitting out right where you want to be, right in the middle of the fairway. I was just looking at the flags. They're pretty still. Uh, okay. <laughs> Must be in a sheltered little pocket here. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, tee pad's nothing, but yeah, yeah the poplar's in the, yeah, just goes the, poplar's to show, in the yeah. middle. Goes to show you how varied the wind was, but this looks great from Simon. Man, He's look at that vapor trail. Right up by you. you. Punk. Yeah, yeah, it takes a long drive. It's got yeah. me by about five meters. That's a great drive by Simon right down the middle. Yeah, now we're starting to get a little bit of that rain back on the tee. Yeah. Jimmy and looks Jimmy's, like he's a little early. Yeah, he's going to... Oh, he's just hit the poplar. Oh, uh, but that's fallen, all right. Yeah, yeah. to the left side of it. Got the kick left, so that's still going to give him the hyzer around the corner. So he's still... Nice he's and still low from Johnny. Come on, keep pushing. Oh, and he's right on top of Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's right on drives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see them both right together. So, yeah, hopefully that poplar won't play too much. It's going to make it real skinny for him. Ah, a little bit get low, up, but it needs... Mm. Doesn't yeah. get the grand action he would probably want. Yeah, so he wasn't able to take that hyzer kind of wide enough with mm. that poplar coming into play, so he had to throw that low one to come through the wind. Yeah. Looks like the rain's coming with it. So yeah, you know, like just early release, low from him. Oh, and no. this... Ah, that's early from Jimmy. Speaking of early release, yeah. that looks real early release. He's going to be really pinched off on that corner. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be tucked behind that fence. It's going to mm. be a big guardian in his way. Nice wide and open from you. Yeah, overstable. Oh, this is... <laughs> we got a shouts of four almost crashing into Tournament HQ, but we got the thumbs up, so you're safe. Oh, thumbs up. Just safe. <laughs> that was my Buzz OS just trying, you know, like a nice, you know, like half go with an overstable mid range. Simon making the correction, but too much. Yeah, he so got some wind behind that, and he's caught a tree just on that corner, but yeah. he'll have a fairly open look to the to his to the basket. He's not going to complain too much, you mm. know. Of course, he's going to like want to be in the look. Jimmy's she, trying to decide, looking, looking for a line. Because he's really pinched off on the corner, but it's so risky going over the over that house, the clubhouse. Yeah, because pretty much everything to hit between him and the basket is going to be out of bounds over mm -hmm. that fence. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and especially with this crosswind, it's just going to push him OB. So he's opping for this forehead. Oh, look at that wind! <laughs> look at that movement! Sit, sit. Where you go? It, yeah, he's he never up. flipped it up. Yeah, like he's in the open now, which is good. But unfortunately, he didn't stand the disc vertical enough to get it to flip didn't over push. onto its top. Yeah. So it just kind of cut back to the right. So he's in the fairway there of hole one. Johnny with a big sky hyzer approaching the green. And yeah, that's, that's pretty the good. He's made the green. He's gone long. Yeah, but he's yeah, inside the circle. There. But that's yep. where you want to be. He's got a putt. So hopefully he knows he can make those. He's mm -hmm, had a couple, mm -hmm. couple from that distance. Jimmy should be routine. Ooh. Little Ruru sit. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's not the ground play you want. Nine yeah. meters out. Yeah, just on circle's edge. Simon, get it. <laughs> <laughs> From that angle, it totally looked like it was going oh, yeah. in. Little layup, so he's inside the circle. I have a water jug to do. And then, yeah, you can see I am just inbound. So that's the HQ flags just behind me. I have nothing. That's a great so I'm like, layup. I mean, like, honestly, that's the best you can do. Yeah. I'm just like, no, nah, I want it. As you can see, the it's rain has so come in much yet rain. again. All of these players just want to get get, get the round over and done with. Ah, Johnny's like, I'm so close. Just an inch ah, away from finishing. Just a little low yeah. by him. Jimmy's just straight into the headwind. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> little, little hover skip. Yeah, I was going to say, that's like a little bit of an ultimate play. Like, yeah. let's just take a Ruru, you know, like on a ground skip in. It would count. <laughs> oh. oh, man, even Simon, man, pushing it to the right-hand side. Like, this round, as you can see, it had calm, it had rain. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so difficult. Yeah, huge sigh of relief. You know, like, that's a bogey by him, but he's like, I want to get yeah. out of here. I'm tapping out quickly. You see me put my mini down. I don't even go through my normal routine. I'm like, take but my hey, birdie, get out of here. You got a birdie, man. 
but yeah, like that's at least one stroke on the card. I got a couple on Jimmy. Um, so I'll come into the clubhouse at the minus one, um, which is really good for me. As you can see, three birdies on the last three holes, uh, which is uh, should keep me on the lead card. I hope at least it's, you know, battling in. Yeah, we'll take a look at the scores in a moment. But uh, yeah, it's been a really good battle for this lead card in round three. Really tough conditions, but it's been uh, great to watch some consistent golf, considering, I reckon. Yeah, I was going to say, as you can see, look at this scoreboard. There is one person here who's <laughs> under par, par, and that is your leader, Simon Feasy at 13 under par. Jasper coming in off the chase card. Great to see a local. Came in with a plus three, so he's sitting at minus one. Tied with myself, so I was able to hold on to that uh, second round spot. Um, and then Hemi comes into our fourth spot tied with Mitch and Johnny Ferrari. So he's coming in at even. Yeah, it's gonna be a super exciting lead card in round four. Um, I'm super excited to see Jasper, honestly. Um, haven't seen a lot of him play, so it's gonna be really good. Yeah, I was really excited to share the lead card with a local and then to play with Simon again. So again, super happy to battle back in those last rounds. Hopefully we can all make it through these conditions, you know, like not quite water on a duck, but we'll see you in round four. We'll see you there. <laughs> 